Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome back to Mutant Year Zero, Seed of Evil. Uh, I'm here. My partner in crime, Ray, is here. I think he's probably below the cutoff for the frame. Uh, but he is here to help try and get me across the finish line. That is assuming that the Garden of Jaiko does represent the end of the campaign. What does it? Well, we'll find out. We'll find out in just a minute, right? Well, probably not one minute because it's going to take a lot longer than that to explore it. But we are going to... Welcomes, Dorcas. I try to break your bravery, snuff out your humanity, but you are too strong. Come. Receive your reward. I do not trust that at all. I don't trust the voice that doesn't come from a mouth. The trees have mouths. You sure it wasn't you talking? Shut the fuck up. What are you saying to me? You're saying I'm like a pod person? You were an asshole then and you're an asshole now, so... Whoa. Sorry, I've been out in the zone way too long. Mm. Mm. Okay, I want to be extremely careful going through here. I would like to avoid... Triggering like 500 guys. So. We know there's two regular pod wolves and then the pod. All of a sudden, it's getting warm. Sticky. Snow's melting. Old Jaiko is close. Huh. Well, I want to. Oh, a pod. I want to stay in this area. I'm trying to figure out if we can take these wolves. I mean, so far, I don't see anything else nearby. That gives me hope that we could focus our attention on them and kind of, you know, be done. Now, I just realized if we all wear armor that protects us from charging, which we do have, are there two Podwolf Mothers? I feel like there must be. Because we move, you know, like in the opposite direction from that one. So... Is it just me, or if we stay up here, are we just safe from the wolves regardless of what we're wearing? Let me think first. I mean... This might actually do something this might do something yeah gonna uh gonna switch it up a little bit here oh hold on okay I could get ducks. I don't think I need to. Listen, I may be completely delusional. 
But I think we can even go loud here. And we'll draw the other two pod wolves. I just don't think it matters. Do I not have... No, I do have high ground. Wow. Really? The range? Okay. Whatever. This is my world. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Can I do this? Oh, yeah. Guaranteed. Oh, you know what I just realized? I probably had a guaranteed crit without doing it. What up? <sighs> Nobody likes a nitpicker. So we're not quite going to kill her. I could have used Twitch Shot. I just don't think I need to. And honestly, I'm curious to see what happens here. Okay. I still don't think she can hurt us. She's not going to get the chance anyway. If these things get close enough, I'm totally going to use um, the gunslinger thing. Okay. So let me do this. I'm going to reload. His weapon sucks unless you're essentially at point blank. Yeah. We'll just do this. Let me see. Can I can I do this? Oh, it has to. Hmm. That's crap. Let's just do this. Okay. Sprayed and slayed. Not too shabby. So now we're gonna try to kill the next one. And we're not going to, but we'll definitely get a good start here. And I might as well reload. I don't see any reason not to, because I don't really want to, you know, hog rush or twitch. Well, twitch shot wouldn't even matter. Not in terms of using the action. So I don't think these wolves can do literally anything to us. Even if they come up, I believe our armor will just absorb every single attack they make. So, not really stressed about it. That is a thing I do need to stress about, though. I should have thought of that. He's the wrong one to do that with. Okay, let me reload. I'm probably too late already. I need to try. Yeah, that sucked. See, here's the crappy thing. If I, um, oh man, I can't even get out. <sighs> well, it's time to use Twitch shot. I got to. I guess it doesn't matter because I'm not killing it this turn anyway, but we we desperately need to do something here. Can I hit it at all? No, it's not even in range. All right, well. Yeah, we're going to have to fight something else. I know we will. I should have thought of that before. I should have put a higher priority on the pod. Because I'm pretty sure it's about to spawn something right now. And then it will fire at us right now. And unlike the dogs, it will be able to do damage. Yeah, that, that was a foolishness on my part. But um, the bad news for him is that I can easily come down and do something about it. Now, I would like to know. That's pretty good damage. I want to see what this does one time. Yeah. 
That's cool. I mean, honestly, I don't think the damage was considerably different than what it would have been, but it makes me happy. We're doing this. Okay. All right. So we just took out the only thing that mattered. Oh, well, that's not true, actually. Um, but we have a little time before we need to worry about the other thing. I don't care. Let's just try to kill it. The dog straight up means nothing. So. Okay. All right, Mutt. You're done here. Um, I can't come up. <laughs> That's not great. That'll get me to 50. Okay. 75, I am more than cool with. I do kind of love that he says kiss, kiss, bang, bang. I was afraid of that. Um, can I just use Borman to... Oh, no. That's fine. I'll just overwatch. So let him jump back up and get wrecked. There you go. Great work. All right. So let's heal um, Khan for sure. Okay. On me. <gasps> oh, my bad. Okay, I don't get it. Aren't we supposed to be grouped up? Maybe they'll come once I get moved. Okay, so I'm not 100% clear whether um, there were three dogs and I only picked up two loot, right? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't want to stress about it too much. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I killed the only wolves that were up here. I felt like there were two of the mothers, but I think I was wrong about that. I thought that as I moved away, there was no way it could have gotten in front of me, but maybe I took a little bit more roundabout route you know, than I thought. Oh. Damn. That looks like one evil tree. It's the source of the vine. Pod goals. Everything. Snapping her branches is probably useless. Tearing out her roots will take a few years. But something tells me popping those big pods are gonna cause her a world of pain. Where is she? I'm a little confused here. And when I say a little, I mean a lot. Like, there literally is no tree in front of me with a bunch of pot. Okay. I also don't want to start our final battle with her until I'm sure I've killed, you know, any and all enemies that it would just be, you know, in the area. Okay, there's one of those destroyers, so we got to be careful about him. I see some loot downstairs. Big Pex gin. Oh! I realized, actually, hold on. I was too slow. Nope, I got him at least. So 
So they'll come around. I just want to see if there's anything up here. Um, nope. Kind of a waste. Hmm. Pretty sure that's the loot I saw. So, okay, we got a pod jumper. Okay, well, in that case, let's see. I'm not positive, but this, see, yeah, this seems like it would be a good place for an ambush. Distribute yourself. Put you here. Okay, well, we'll sit tight for a minute and wait for the jumper to come back. All right, I think our patience is about to be rewarded. His health is 32. Hold on. Okay, I'm learning. I don't have to use this on the first turn. His health of 32 could be a problem, though. I'm not positive we can kill him this turn. At least without Twitch shot. Shut your raggedy ass up. Well, I take it back. Oh. I have a 50-50 chance. I'm not doing that. And stay down. I think that would be really foolish. Hey, follow me. Oh, there's a tree heart. Hmm. See. I'm a little nervous being this close. And I see more over this way. They all have 32 health. That's a problem for me. What about this guy? Only 22. Okay. That's less of a problem. Okay, we got a couple of guys in here with low health. So, I think this is my answer. Is, um... What I need to do is just kill a couple of these low health guys. Get Twitch shot back and we'll just keep picking them off. Nice and slow. That's my goal. Don't get stupid. Okay, next. Yeah, this is an easy kill. Okay. So now I I do have other guys that um, have twitch shot. So he he didn't drop any loot. Okay. Check him. I'm not sure where that other guy is right now. Oh, he's coming. That's the jumper. I don't even want the jumper yet. Unfortunately, he's close enough now. Uh. 
Where did that stupid thing go? There was another guy who only had 22 health. So, I mean, that's who we want. I think that's pretty clear. Here comes the burner. I'm not sure how close he comes. Might. You know what? I'll do it. Whatever. So... Let's just do it. This guy's health is really low. We don't need to get cued and like try to guarantee a crit or anything. All we need is hits. So, there you go. You just lost your son privileges, asshole. You ain't half bad for a newbie. Follow me. Okay. This time, I think we want to do something different. Because we want to take this spawner out. Oh, well, that's fine. So once this guy walks away, here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to hide here. I'm going to hide here. And I'm going to hide here. Now, let me just make sure. Foreman has hog rush. That's what I want. Okay. Um, I think I'm fine with all that. I think so. Okay. So when the jumper comes, I'm going to hog rush him. And then we're going to focus fire on the spawner. and kill that while we have the chance. Oh. Okay. Hello? <laughs> yeah, the problem is this thing has so much armor. It's kind of a problem. Hate to say it, I think I need to use both. Because we need to kill it. It doesn't have to be this turn. Oh, okay, cool. Let's do that. This is the first time I've ever used Gunslinger. So that makes me happy to get some value out of it for once. Come on. I'm gonna warn you again. Okay, so we should easily be able to kill this next turn. The trick is, can we also kill the jumper? Um. Okay, I'm totally gonna do this because this way, um, we just are done with the spawner. So do that and then skull split it. So now I don't need to worry about anything coming out of there. I'm kicking the crap out of us and alerting everything in the zone. I call that a win. Beautiful. And so next turn, that should be it for him. Oh, you're kidding me. That's uh, a bit unfortunate, if I may say it. That's quite unfortunate, actually. 
I thought I had Borman, not gonna lie. Yep, that's awkward. Sit your ass down. That's really awkward. Oh, okay. The fight's over. When they showed the other uh, spawner, I thought that meant, you know, we were uh, we were in trouble. Okay, no, listen, <laughs> I'm all for that. So we got to be careful here. What have we got? We got a burner. I don't think I want to investigate that right. Well, I'll do it. It's probably not. Creatures seem petrified. Frozen by an ancient winter. Sorta. So the burner is right next to that tank. I'm not killing one without taking the other. We could use Puppeteer, uh, but I need to make sure that everybody else is dead because uh, this will be a loud fight. Crap. I can root out your sadness and make you so happy. Don't you want that? Lay down your weapons. Hold me tight. It's not really what I want to do, to be honest. So... I, I don't think there's a way to do this group quietly. Realistically, what's going to happen is if I try to fight the destroyer, then he'll blow up and the other guys will come running. If I try to mind control one of the other two, we're going to have kind of the same issue uh, where that fight gets loud because the one that's not mind controlled will be noisy. And then. Okay, there is another guy walking around. Uh, yeah, and then, you know, the others will come running. Can I hide here? Well, hi, Future Tapcat here, and once again, this is another zone that took us almost exactly an hour to clear. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, and when we come back, you will see the thrilling conclusion of Mutant Year Zero Seed of Evil. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.